guys, we are the Dave and I are so we are here to teach you about the ATM. Hi, I'm Mimi and I'm going to talk about data extraction. I'm Johan and I will talk about data transformation. And I'm Frank and I'm going to talk about data loading. Hi guys, I will be talking about data extraction. So what is data extraction? It is a process that involves retrieval of data from various sources. Companies extract data in order to process it further, migrate the data to a data repository to further analyze it. Extraction is the first key step in the ETL process. Next, how is data extracted? There are two ways in extracting data. First, structured data. If the data is structured, the data extraction process is generally performed within the source system. It is common to perform the data extraction using the following methods. There are two methods. First is the full extraction. Data is fully extracted from the source and there is no need to track the changes. The second one is the incremental extraction. Changes in the source data are tracked since the last successful extraction so that you do not go through the process of extracting all the data each time there is a change. To do this, you might create a change table to track the changes. The second one in the ways of extracting a data is the unstructured data. When you work with unstructured data, the large part of your task is to prepare the data in such a way that it can be extracted. Most likely, you will store it in a data lake until you plan to extract it for analysis. Next, what are the challenges on data extraction? The challenge is ensuring that you can join the data from one source with the data from other sources so that they play well together. This will require a lot of planning. Another challenge is security. Often, some of the data contains sensitive information. You may need to remove the sensitive information as part of the extraction. And lastly, do you know that there are three types of data extraction tools? First one is the batch processing tools. Legacy data extraction tools consolidate your data in batches, typically during off hours to minimize the impact of using large amounts of compute power. The second one is the open source tools. It can be a good fit for a budget limited applications assuming the supporting infrastructure and knowledge is in place. The third one is cloud-based tools. They are the latest generation of extraction of data. The focus is on the real-time extraction of data as part of an ETL process and cloud-based tools excel in this area. Helping take advantage of all the cloud has to offer for data storage and analysis. What is data transformation? Data transformation is the process of converting data from one format or structure into another format or structure. Data transformation is critical to activities such as data integration and data management. There are two stages of data transformation. The first stage is Perform data discovery where you identify the sources and data types. Determine the structure and data transformations that need to occur. Perform data mapping to define how individual fields are mapped, modified, joined, filtered, and aggregated. In the second stage, you extract data from the original source. The range of the sources can vary, including instructed sources like databases or streaming sources such as telemetry from connected devices or log files from customers using web applications. And perform transformations. You transform the data such as aggregating sales data or converting date formats, editing text strings or joining rows and columns. Send the data to the target store. The target might be a database or a data warehouse that handles structured and unstructured data. Why we transform data? There are five reasons why we transform data. 
businesses who want to transform data to make it compatible with other data, move it to another system, join it with other data, or aggregate information in the data. Second is, you are moving your data to a new data store. For example, you are moving to a cloud data warehouse and you need to change the data types. Third is, you want to join unstructured data or streaming data with structured data so you can analyze the data together. Then the fourth is, you want to add information to your data to enrich it, such as performing lookups, adding geologization data, or adding timestamps. And lastly, you want to perform aggregations such as comparing sales data from different regions or totaling sales from different regions. There are three different ways to transform data. First is scripting. Some companies perform data transformation via script using SQL or Python to write the code to extract and transform the data. The second is the on-premise ETL tool. ETL, extract, transform, load. That was the main of ETL. So ETL tools can take much of the pain out of the scripting the transformations by automating the process. These tools are typically hosted on your company site and may require extensive expertise and infrastructure costs. And lastly, the third one, the cloud-based ETL tools. These ETL tools are hosted in the cloud where you can leverage the expertise and infrastructure of the vendor. What are the different challenges of data transformation? Time consuming. You may need to extensively cleanse the data so you can transform or migrate it. This can be extremely time consuming and is a common complaint amongst data scientists working with unstructured data. Costly. Depending on your infrastructure, transforming your data may require a team of experts and substantial infrastructure costs. Slow. Because the process of extracting and transforming data can be a burden on your system. It is often done in batches, which means you may have to wait up to 24 hours for the next batch to process. This can cost you time in making business decisions. What is data loading? Data loading refers to the load component of ETL. After the data is extracted and transformed, it is then loaded into a storage system such as cloud data warehouse. What are the challenges of data loading? First, slowdown analysis. Each time a data source is added or changed, the system has to be reconfigured, which takes time and hampers the ability to make quick decisions. It also increases the likelihood of errors. Changes in the configuration open up for human errors, duplicate or missing data, and other problems. It requires specialized knowledge. In-house IT teams often lack the skill and bandwidth needed to code and monitor ETL functions themselves. It requires costly equipment. In addition to investment in the right human resource, organizations have to purchase, house, and maintain hardware and other equipment to run the process on-site. So what are the methods of data loading? The first method of data loading is cloud-based. ETL tools in the clouds are built for speed and scalability and often enable real-time data processing. They also include ready-made infrastructure and expertise of the vendor who can advise on best practices for each organization's unique setup and needs. The second method of data loading is batch processing. ETL tools that work off batch processing move data at the same scheduled time every day or week. It works best for large volumes of data and for organizations that don't necessarily need real-time access to their data. The last method for data loading is open source. Many open source ETL tools are quite cost effective as their code base is publicly accessible, modifiable, and shareable. While a good alternative to commercial solutions, these tools can still require some customization or hand coding. So guys, we're done discussing about the ETL. Thank you for watching. And that's it for today. Bye-bye.